Well, 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 surprise, surprise, look who's back. Alrighty guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial. So guys, basically this tutorial is how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. So do you guys ever play games like GTA 5 on your PC? And then you're like, dude, how do I connect my controller so that I can play GTA 5 or you know, any other game using my PS4 controller? Because for some reason, it doesn't detect input when you plug in your controller or if you use Bluetooth. But using this method basically allows you to connect it. So just make sure that you follow step by step um, of each of the steps and that way you'll guarantee that it'll work. Um, comment down below if you have any questions and yeah, just also know that this there is no virus. Just make sure you only click the link down in the, the description. That way um, you're, you're, you can basically guarantee that you're not clicking on some kind of random website that seems good too good to be true and... You know, it's fishy and gives you a virus. But trust me, this website is safe. Alright, so let's go. So first, you're going to want to click download on the website. Link is in the description, so you guys can check it out. Download now. So you're going to see this page. It says github.com from jays 2 kings ds 4 windows slash releases. So basically, as you guys can see right here, version 1.45 is the latest version. Um, if this video comes out, if let's say by the time you guys click the link and there's a newer one, just go for the newer one. So yeah, as you guys can see right here, assets. You see these three files, DS4 Windows zip. This is the only one you need, so just click this one. So we're gonna save this onto my computer. So we're gonna click save. You can save it wherever you need to. Now we're gonna click open. So since it's Windows 10, you might need to you're gonna need to extract it. But yeah, so if you need Win WinWar, go ahead and download it. It's free. Or you can just use Windows 10. Basically, you just got to do is create a new folder. We're going to name it whatever you want. So we're going to name it DS4 because that's the name of the software. You can name whatever you want. It's your folder. Click Enter. Now we're going to take this. We're going to drag it into the folder. So take both of them. Drag them into the folder. So once you do that, we can open up the folder and close the other one. Now you can see that there's like little controllers here. That's how you know that it's working, that the application is ready. So now you're going to click DS4 Windows. So when you open it for the first time, it's going to say this. Pick where you want to save, set it, where you want settings and profile to be saved. So basically you can choose um, where you want it to download, like your save. Or you can use app data. But I'm going to use program folder. So, yep. So, it's going to basically going to save inside the folder. So, here we have is the application. So, it looks a little confusing at first, but a lot of the time it's just plug in and play. So, we're going to create a little um, profile. So, click on the uh, profile. Um, there isn't much you have to do. You can mess around with the colors of the controller which allows you to change it by just moving these um, you can adjust the charging one the color um, and yeah honestly there isn't much you have to do because a lot of it is already like set up so for me I usually just plug in my controller which I'm going to do right now alright guys so basically what you're going to want to do is you're, take, you're, gonna, you're gonna take your controller and if you have a micro USB, like your charging cable, you're going to take it and you're going to plug it in to the controller, like so. So when you do this, you're going to hear a sound, the window sound. And in the bottom right corner, you're going to see that it says controller one is using profile default. So basically, it means that it's working. It's detected that the controller is working with the blue light. You can see that it's lighting up. So that is a good sign that it is working. So now all you have to do is just enter your game and you should be fine. You can also do this uh, connecting using Bluetooth, which I will show you how. So we'll just disconnect the controller. We are going to do the... Wait, hold on. I have it paired already. Let me just remove the pair. So basically, you're going to click... The PlayStation and the share button on the PS4 controller. 
so now it's going to start flashing so this is when you go onto your bluetooth settings make sure it's enabled click bluetooth and we're going to wait till it says wireless controller click connect so as you can see we're setting a wireless controller close that wireless controller device ready to go click done now you can see that the controller light is also blue no cables it's going to be off right so once you connect it with bluetooth you basically just turn on your controller you pair it all right so you're going to pair it next you're going to want to go to the app right so right now as you can see it's connected it's on so sometimes what happens is, is it's the light is blue but it doesn't connect so in the bottom right corner you're going to see a little button it says start and stop you're going to click stop and you're going to click start again stop and start so as you can see you can hear that the window sound made a noise and then all you got to do is just go into your game sorry so see sometimes it just doesn't work like that hold on my pc is actually not working alright a little bit of problems guys okay just make sure you don't click minimize because the app what it does is if you click minimize it closes so just make sure you leave it open in the background so that it when it so that it doesn't close so for this it did close so don't click minimize but all right so let's go back click stop light turns off or like dim back to blue now, no wires, connected. One more time to show you guys. This just disconnects it. So let's reconnect the controller, click the PS button. Okay, it's actually connected right now, the light's off, but basically open the app, click stop, click start, go back into the game. See right now it's not working. So one more time, go back to the app, stop, start, connected. So yeah, as you can see, it works. So as you can see, this is Bluetooth. So you're gonna need to follow those steps. Click uh, stop and start. Sometimes it requires a little, little just a little tinkering and it works without the wire. But if you wanna get rid of all that hassle, just literally take a wire, one that works, your charging cable, plug it in, you're good to go. Just make sure that um, you do not click uh, minimize because minimize for some reason, this is a little bit glitchy. When you click X, it doesn't, it, sometimes it closes. But when you click minimize, it also like closes the application. And then it doesn't work. So make sure you just have it open. Leave it running in the background. Just put your game over it. And there you go. So just make sure it's running in the background. There you go, guys. Um, it usually works best with the cable. So yeah, as you can see, it's lighting up blue. So that means it's working good. So as you can see right here, let's get into a car so the controls are basically the same but basically what this application does is a lot of games they support they support um, a lot of games they support um, Xbox controllers as you can see Xbox controller but and it's not supported by a PlayStation controller so basically this this application takes the input of your PS4 controller and kind of transforms it into Xbox input so that the game detects it as Xbox input which is why when you click start in the bottom right corner it's like select with the A back with the B and hide menu with the Y but once you get used to using it it basically works just the same way as a regular controller as an Xbox controller so as you guys can see playing G 
that is pretty much it guys thank you guys all for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed don't forget to slap the like button down below and we will see you guys in the next one so if you have any questions let me know down below um if anything were unclear ask me down below i'll try to answer and yeah um this method does work um so yeah just, uh, make sure you use the link down below in the description um this thing does not have any viruses so trust me it is 100 percent safe so um just make sure you follow each step that i did and you should be good to go so yeah stop the like button hit the notification bell and see you guys in the next one peace out guys oh. 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 Oh.